New information tonight on the proposed 2019 budget for Huntsville City Schools. It calls for cutting millions in spending throughout the district, but right now, the cuts do not include jobs. However, we're learning that could change. The budget was presented to the Board of Education tonight in the first of two meetings. Way 31's Cody Fisher was in the meeting. He's live in Huntsville with other major takeaways from the proposed budget. Cody. Greg, even with Huntsville City Schools cutting millions in non-personnel spending, the district is still staring a multi-million dollar deficit by the end of this fiscal year at the end of September and at the end of the 2019 fiscal year as well. Patricia Marr is a sixth grade teacher in the district. She likes the budget including promised teacher raises, but all of the issues make her and her fellow teachers in the room tonight worry. We're unsure about how they're going to do it and where the cuts are going to come from. So we're looking about, you know, everybody's job could be at stake and we just don't know. The budget numbers have firmed up over the past month, but at the end of September, the district is still looking to be roughly $5 million short on their state required one month operating balance. At the end of the 2019 fiscal year, projections show the district will still be short $3 million. Superintendent Christy Finley says the millions in cuts to the non-personnel spending accounts for the district making up ground on the budget. The Board of Education will decide whether or not to approve the budget and send it to the state for approval. Moving forward, what we need to do is show a plan of how we'll uh, try and achieve that one month operating expense. The chief financial officer for the district said in the meeting the district has over 200 staff members in the district not paid for by the state. Some are teachers, some are assistant principals, and all of the central office staff are in that number, including the superintendent. When pressed several times on future cuts to make up the remaining $3 million deficit at the end of the 2019 fiscal year, Finley shied away from saying people will lose their jobs. I think we have to look at everything. We have to look at everything, whether it be programs, personnel. Um, we have to make sure that what we're doing makes sense and what we're doing makes sense for students. Mar is still worried, but likes the well thought out way the district seems to be handling the situation instead of making snap decisions. People's lives are at stake. You know, this is how we take care of our families. So. Going about it and taking a slow approach would be a good thing. Superintendent Finley tells Way 31 that the district and the Board of Education can make changes to this budget if it is approved during the year to help kind of fix the problem as it goes along. Now, the next budget hearing is going to be next Thursday, and right after that meeting, there is a Board of Education meeting where the Board of Education will vote on this budget, and we'll be there to let you know what happens. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.